Beaumont Health System, the largest hospital company in Michigan, recently announced they were closing Beaumont Wayne Hospital. When CEO John Fox and Beaumont's board of directors decided to close this hospital, they took away 185 hospital beds in the middle of the pandemic. They closed a hospital that had hosted over 60,000 emergency visits last year, enough people to fill Detroit's NFL stadium. And they took away jobs and income from 2,500 Michigan workers. But this isn't just about Beaumont. Hospital companies shut down 46 hospitals across the country last year alone. In the last five years, they've closed 135. And then the pandemic hit. Surely they wouldn't close hospitals in a pandemic, right? Turns out, since January, they've closed at least 12 more. And they're not done yet. Over 500 hospitals across the country are at risk of being shut down. With every single one of these closures, patients, healthcare workers, and entire communities would lose essential services. But why? Why is this happening? Well, what is the purpose of our healthcare system? You might think our hospital system is designed to guarantee people medical care, but it's not. It's designed to make money. Rather than putting hospitals where there are medical needs and making sure workers and communities have a say in these decisions, political leaders are letting business executives decide who gets a hospital and who doesn't and they base their decisions on where they can make the most profits. In 2018, the wealthiest 1,400 hospitals in the country had a profit margin of 19.4%. 19.4%, that's huge. They took one out of every $5 we paid them and pocketed it. And in wealthy neighborhoods where there's money to be made, hospitals are actually expanding their facilities. But the least profitable 1,400 hospitals despite delivering essential services, we're losing almost 15 cents out of every dollar. What do you think hospital CEOs might do with these 1,400 essential hospitals? Close them. Of course, when hospitals are closed, these closures don't affect everyone equally. Rural communities and communities of color are being hurt the most. As you can see with all the red counties on this map, most rural counties, and in fact, most counties in the country, don't have a single ICU bed. The brightest red counties don't have any hospital at all. And everywhere, there are racial disparities. To cite just one example, a recent study in Chicago found that black neighborhoods are nine times more likely than white neighborhoods to be trauma deserts without access to trauma centers. Depending on how the pandemic progresses, epidemiologists are estimating we could need up to 1.4 million hospital beds in the coming months. And if hospitals keep closing and we get to the point where we're looking at something like 500 closures in the coming years, the effects would be just staggering. Analysts have estimated that we could lose capacity for 11.7 million patient visits. We'd lose 99,000 healthcare jobs and another 137,000 jobs in surrounding communities. Over 10 years, all this could mean we lose $277 billion in GDP. Meanwhile, Beaumont Health is sitting on massive amounts of cash. Here are their most recent tax filings. Beaumont CEO John Fox has been paying himself $5.9 million a year, and he's not the only one making bank. At least 18 other Beaumont executives are being paid over a million dollars a year, and that was in 2018. Last year, Beaumont's profits doubled. In fact, Beaumont's been so profitable for so long that it's sitting on over $2 billion in assets. Closing this hospital has nothing to do with healthcare. It has everything to do with greed.